If you're installing a cotter pin and you live in the rust belt where vehicles are crusty, here's a tip for you. When you in insert the cotter pin, instinctively people want to pull it all the way through and then bend it over or bend them around. You don't want to do that because in a year from now you'll never get that cotter pin back out. Rust will take over and that cotter pin, you'll have to drill that out if you ever have to take this tie rod off to service another part of the vehicle. So what I do is I leave the tail end of the cotter pin sticking out, usually about a quarter of an inch, and then we will take and bend the, just like that, and you want to leave it so it has the ability to wiggle. As long as that cotter pin has the ability to wiggle, it won't rust up and you'll be able to take it apart again in the future.